hi, this is just a little chat with your millennial auntie. So I called myself that because I'm literally a millennial auntie. I've been an auntie since I was like 10 years old. Anyways, so um, yeah, for a lot of y'all Gen Z, I know this is a hard time for y'all. And there's another conversation to be had about how celebrities don't matter. But for this video, I want to give them some courage and some comfort. I know this is a hard time for y'all. I, like I said, have been an auntie since I was 10 years old. So I basically helped raise two Gen Z kids, my older sister's kids, since they were born. And I watched how important Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber were to them when they were growing up, specifically my niece. And so I know this is a hard time for y'all to lose faith in people you thought were there for you. Justin Bieber's not there for you. If you didn't notice, he put up that uh, picture uh, trying to pray for Israel, but it was basically the city of Gaza. And then when he found out, he took it down and said nothing else about it. Poor poor trash and then you have selena gomez just being outright wrong and doing absolutely nothing with her 4.3 million followers on instagram i need to take a social media break okay loser she doesn't believe in black lives matter she doesn't believe that using her platform matters to make change in this world and so she didn't really care about black lives matter i think she liked like an all lives matter post or like she said something that was very all lives matter anyways and then she was caught liking amy schumer's posts which are very 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 islamic phobic and racist and she's a racist person in general anyways so i feel for you i know how important selena gomez and justin bieber were to you i understand i know their relationship was really important to y'all i get it and not that I am centering celebrities at all because this is not what the conversation needs to be about. It needs to be about the freedom of the Palestinians. I get it. It's hard when you like somebody who is famous. Even if you tell yourself, I'm not one of those people who like is extremely obsessed with celebrities and care about everything they do. If you like Justin Bieber's music, if you liked watching Disney Channel with Selena Gomez when you were a kid, if you looked up to them in any way at all, I hear you and I understand what you're going through. I've had a lot of my heroes from when I was a kid disappoint me in very huge ways. And so I get it 100%. I understand what you're going through. And I want you to know it's okay to feel the way that you feel. It is okay. It is okay. I am currently going through something similar, not, you know, fully, but Paramore, you know, I got, you know, I talk about Paramore a lot on this. I've gone viral for my Paramore post before, my Haley Williams post before on here. And Paramore actually making me really mad right now. I love them. I will always love them. But they are actively deciding to be quiet during a genocide. And that's not okay with me. Specifically as a band who over the last 10 years specifically have used their platform more than once to speak on things like Black Lives Matter, being on the right side of that, and, you know, um, women's rights, and, you know, the fascism going on in Florida, and all different types of things. More so Haley, the rest of the band, but, like, the rest of the band was in cahoots, so basically Paramore in general. But, yeah, she was very vocal, the band was very vocal about all of these things. Then on their album they just put out called This Is Why, they have a song on there called The News, and literally, the lyrics are so poignant to what's going on right now, and yet they are tuning out. And that makes me really mad, right? Really, really mad. And while they haven't come out with a trash statement like Justin Bieber or Selena Gomez, they haven't said anything at all. And their, 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 their lack of care and their lack of communication and their lack of a statement is actually worse than not saying any, not, you know, putting out pro-Israel or whatever type of things. And so I just want to say that when your favorite celebrity, I don't care, I know, but, you know, when your favorite celebrity or band or whatever disappoints you in that way, a band or a group or an artist or an actor or an actress who you thought was really on the right side, who you thought was really doing it for you, was really there for you and your community and really cared about the people 
and then they turn around and become something that you didn't think they would become, it's okay to feel the way that you feel. I just want to put that out there. That is okay for you to feel that way because it's a lot. It is. And you probably put a lot of your childhood into loving these actors, actresses, uh, musicians, whoever. And when they disappoint you like that, it is hard. Specifically when it's somebody like a Selena Gomez, who you've probably liked since you were like five years old because you watch Disney Channel all the time. I get it. I truly get it. And, you know, it really does suck. And I feel bad for you guys. Having to have somebody that you admired fall like this is sad and gross and, and, and not okay. So I respect all of you and how you feel and I get it and, and it must suck and it must be hard. And I've dealt with this myself. You know, I've had, a, like I said, I've had a lot of people I looked up to back in the day, you know, not be cool and not be the upstanding people I thought they were. And I had to just throw them away and that's okay. And that's why to this day, I don't believe in idolizing celebrities. You can idolize their music, you can idolize them as a band or whatever and what they do as a band, but idolizing celebrities in like a personal way of like outside of the music or outside of their uh, talent as an actor or actress or whatever is dangerous because they are not our role models. And they've told us that a million times. Somehow we just keep wanting them to be our role models and wanting them to be there for us. But at the end of the day, they are incapable of doing that because they are selfish human beings who only look at themselves and the money that they're making off of our backs. And so we need to remember that we have the power in this situation. They do not. And we have the power by not supporting them when they do things that are terrible. So just FYI, you do not have to support people who are terrible just because you love them. I'm on the fence about Paramore right now. They haven't put any statements out that are terrible. So I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt and praying my ass off that they are actually doing things behind the scenes. But them not putting out a statement is really hurting me right now. And I don't like that. And I know that Selena Gomez's statement and Justin Bieber's statement hurt you, Gen Z. And I know it's hard. So just remember that <clears throat> at the end of the day, you have the power. You have the opportunity to remind these celebrities that I'm in control. I have the power. I'm not going to support you when you do trash things and support trash things that harm people that I care about and harm communities that are suffering and make the world a trash place. We don't have to support these people. And I just want to remind you that. Also, if you're in a little bit of a grieving stage where you're like, dang, my favorite person that I've loved since I was five years old ends up being a POS. And you're just like, I can't handle it. Like, this is a lot. Like, I really did look up to these people, even if not in like a celebrity way, but in just like a, they were doing really good things. And I thought they were really on the right side. And now I have to reevaluate my life. Feel those feelings. It's okay. But then don't dwell on the celebrities that long and continue on with the good purpose of why we are all fighting for marginalized communities and indigenous people and fighting for their liberation and not refusing to let this system win. So just remember all of that. I know it's hard. I know it's hard because specifically Gen Z, like every every generation, obviously, but specifically Gen Z because of the internet. I know y'all care about them celebrities like a lot. So I, I want to give you that time and that energy. And yeah, just know because I, again, I was an aunt, I'm an aunt to two Gen Z kids. And I remember watching my niece specifically idolize Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber and all of that. So I get it. I truly, truly get it. It's upsetting. It's gross. And she had an opportunity to not let you guys down. And unfortunately, she did the worst kind of thing. So yeah, just FYI to all of my little Gen Z nieces and nephews. I love you. And I know it's hard, but we are doing this for the people of Palestine and don't let them gaslight you into thinking that what you're doing is wrong. They are wrong for even not using their platform the correct way and standing up for people who are dying in a genocide. So just FYI and yeah, hope you're doing okay and we fight another day.